Hello, happy 2021. Um, here's my third quarter review and kind of an overview of everything from this year. Um, the chart has changed slightly. Um, there are no grand totals for each vegetable. However, my grand total for uh, three quarters of the year, because I only started counting in April, is 692.873 pounds of produce, including rabbit meat. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, this last quarter included, let's see, October, I raised 36 pounds of produce. In November, 18. And in December, 93. And that's because of oranges. <laughs> yep, 97 pounds of oranges here at the end of the year since the late November. Lemons are coming on too. I haven't weighed those though. Um, probably will end up giving a lot of those away. I did put out a, a free bin and those were all taken by happy neighbors. And it's just interesting to see how the vegetables have spread over the year, like what produces during what months. And it will be great this next year, 2021, to have the data for the first quarter which is off to a good start out here in the front yard I cleared out the sweet potato tree circle from the moringa tree and I managed to get five pounds of beautiful sweet potatoes just from two slips here's the other moringa tree circle time to take down all those pods. I'll be saving those seeds and sending them out to friends and making them available. Um, this sweet potato patch is about ready to come up and I think it's actually going to have even more than the one I showed you. So that's where the slip was and you can see the potatoes. But everywhere the vine touches down there'll be more. And that's going to be great. <laughs> it's time to take this sad tomato out of here. I left it there because there was one fruit, but that never developed. I was hoping that this salad garden would have uh, filled out more than it has, but I am really pleased with the shard and the uh, cilantro is doing well. I've harvested almost a pound of shard from these babies. And then there are some kale coming up slowly. I can thin this one out. I've got a few there. But the other salad greens and celery, uh, as soon as they came up, the pests took them. So all of this straw here in the front is from the pink oyster mushrooms. And I'm hoping that those will come back and flush again when the weather is right for them. And then we've expanded the mushroom field into this area. And we, we've put some yellow oyster mushrooms and some blue. Here's an experimental bed that I'm preparing with all the wood chips. I'm going to be filling um, some cardboard boxes with soil and uh, putting some uh, chilies and tomatoes and things like that in those and starting those and then I'll just embed those cardboard boxes of soil into the deep mulch so I'll keep you up to date on that <laughs> look at the sweet potato vine climbing over things are coming along here in the victory garden this was just a patch of wasted land with some weeds and uh, scruffy grass, terrible soil, and 
now the comfrey, uh, the artichokes, and this is going to be so beautiful when these magnolia snap peas grow up to 10 feet tall with their pink and purple flowers on them. Um, this I developed with a trench of soil in the deep mulch and I'm crossing my fingers that the garlic will still pop up out of that. Um, the garlic on this side is definitely happy. So that's the Victor's garden. Now I'm gonna show you my Christmas present. Look at that. We spent a couple days shoveling all of these yards of material out of a trailer. I've got some compost, I've got some pea gravel, and a bunch of garden soil. Look at this beautiful redwood lumber. That's part of my birthday, I mean Christmas present as well. You might be wondering, what could it possibly be? Check it out. I am one of the YouTube gardening channel cool kids. I have a polytunnel. Oh, this is so exciting. Not only will it perform the greenhouse functions of, of seed starting through our mild winters, but still um, don't have to try to buy lights and all that and take up space indoors. But plus it creates some chicken exclusion zone, which I'm always looking for because these pesky pullets are into everything. Look at this beautiful bed that my husband made for my new polytunnel out of the redwood. And then it's lined with pond liner. And then there's uh, pea gravel and um, perforated tubing. And then this is our wicking bed. So when you fill it up with water, it fills the bottom up with water and you regulate the level with that so that it's not sludgy mud at the bottom. And then capillary action allows the soil and the roots to reach down and drink from that reservoir. And I planted it out just four days ago and already my pak choy is germinating. I think some of the spinach is too, and I have never had luck with spinach, so I'm thinking it might do well in here. <sighs> 2021 is going to be great with my expanded growing areas. So the main garden and the raised wattle are just still producing. I did not have this going on this time last year. Yeah, the crowning glory, of course. I did have those last year, the Magnolia Snap Peas, and that's where I got the seed for this generation, and they are just thriving, and they're just starting to hit their stride. And then I've got this success, uh, successive sowing of the same thing, and it's about to bust out now that it's about chest high. And the ones in the front yard are about a foot tall, so I should be in snap peas all winter long. More of these garlic are coming up here. I'm happy about that. We raised 30 bulbs of garlic last year and that was just not enough. <laughs> and I just mulched with uh, soiled rabbit litter. So that's its thick feeding for the top of the snow dig garden. I mean, I, I did the full dig and scorched earth to set it up, but ever since it's a no dig garden. And today is the day to take this beauty out. Not the whole plant, because if you can see down there, I'm gonna get side sprouts from that for a couple months, I guess. I guess. And then this one has two small ones. The turnips are getting bigger. Not seeing the roots develop yet. The trio of cauliflowers are opening up. 
And today I'm gonna pick this one over here. So we can have cauliflower and broccoli and I think uh, some salmon filet for dinner tonight. Slow poke carrots are sparse, but they're still, they're still leafing up a little bit. Um, lots of onions. And I just keep harvesting borage for the bunny rabbits that they love that. My Tabasco chili looks terrible, looks diseased. Maybe the mulching will help it. I don't know. That thing has had a hard life. But look at these. They're so glorious. And the front yard is going to have a whole row of them. What a showpiece. <laughs> and I have room to plant more brassicas in this bed. So I'm going to start those in cells inside the greenhouse and move them out here. Um, this bed is ready for more as well. Thinking about planting the rest of my leek seeds. Maybe some beets. But there's all this happening and still room to add more. Here's the orange tree that's given us a hundred pounds of oranges so far. Got some nice red garden salsa, peppers. Time to pick off some more Thai basil. Got a few cayennes over there. And these Anaheims are small, but they are prolific and delicious. Probably gonna trim back this lemongrass Give it a little bit of a mowing. And then some of those leftover garlic bulbs that I didn't have room for in the other patches are doing well here. And this little Missy, she is a brown leghorn named Sharpshins. She has begun laying already. She's the first. Congratulations, Sharpshins. She's laid five little white pullet eggs so far inside the keyhole it's kind of a battleground because those pesky pullets keep letting themselves in here and in fact i found a lot of sharp shins eggs in this nest she made right here in the sweet potato patch and also see someone followed me in here there she is bad, bad, bad. <laughs> this tomato situation collapsed and it caused some die-off down here, so I'm probably going to go ahead and dig that up and harvest whatever I find. Clear out some space. I need to keep pruning this overgrown tomato. <laughs> I have to like crawl or lean against the wall to make my way through here. <laughs> Yeah, there's two types of tomatoes, and they're healthy and flowering. Not seeing a lot of fruit yet, but who knows. This poblano pepper is very full. They're taking their sweet time to get big. And luckily, the chickens have left the elephant garlic alone. And this tomato actually is making tomatoes pretty good. So that is what's going on. I'm going to kick this, these chickens out of here. So the next big project on our agenda is to um, take down the shed and build a rabbit barn so that it's easier to keep it cool in the summertime. And that we're also going to take out the peach tree. It's diseased and it's past its time and that will clear out the rabbit area and who knows what will get planted there but as soon as we get a rabbit barn in then I'm hoping we'll get a new uh, doe so we can um, diversify our rabbit genetics 
So I hope you're looking forward to a beautiful 2021 in your garden. Sending you all my love and blessings. Cheers.